Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a really cool one for you guys. We have iOS 16 Developer Beta 1 right here on this iPhone 13 Pro. Let's get right into some of these new features. So the first one here, pretty obvious, lock screen looks so sick. They have changed pretty much everything about the lock screen on the iPhone. I've got the stocks here, I've got my battery status, I got the sunrise, sunset right there. It is so cool. There is a lot to unpack here. You can even tap and hold on this just like an Apple Watch to scroll through your different faces. So I've got tons of different ones preloaded in here and you can go ahead and customize any one of these. And let's say I wanted to change this to a font like that. I can do it. I can change the color. I can change how that color looks. I can change the saturation of any color, make it a little lighter right there, looking pretty good. Uh, so yeah, you can change pretty much anything. It is really cool. For the widgets here, you can go through and pick anything that currently supports it. Uh, but right now, these are the main ones right here. So if I take out this battery one and I take out this stocks right here, instead I could add the weather and I could add a little calendar widget. So it could tell me my upcoming events right there. Then I just hit done. And just like that, it is saved. That is now my wallpaper, super unique. You don't have to look like everyone else these days with your wallpaper. Now, if you head into settings and you scroll down until you see wallpaper, uh, you can customize each one of these individually. So you can go back in here. This is basically your dedicated area to edit these wallpapers. So for this face in particular, you've got earth, earth detail, moon, moon detail, and then the whole solar system. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it as done on that. So now you can see it updated. It now has the entire solar system right there. So here you guys can see we can change the background. We can go into our photos here or we can pick a new, completely new default one uh, right here. So here is the iOS 16 wallpaper. So let's go ahead and set that real quick. And as you guys can see, it sets it both on the lock screen as well as the homepage. And of course you can edit the widgets there. So. Lock screen, that is a huge new feature on iOS 16. Let's move on to the next, and this one is probably one of my favorites. All right, guys, so the next feature is absolutely epic. So I just spammed out the chat. I'm basically texting <laughs> myself here, but this new feature allows you to edit or undo messages. So as you can see right here, I made a typo. I put e hat instead of what? So I can long press on it, hit edit, and I can go in real quick and change that to what before the other person sees that I'm a dumbass and don't know how to spell. There we go. It does say edited right there. Uh, but if the other person is using iOS 16, they will see the change and it'll just say edited. If they're not running iOS 16, it will just be the old one and you just will be dumb because you think that you edited it, but it didn't edit. So this is going to be awesome. Once everyone gets on the new Mac OS version, the new iPad OS, the new Apple watch, the new iOS version, you pretty much have to be on all those for this to work properly. So keep that in mind. Let's say you accidentally text the wrong person. I love you and you're like, oh shit, I need to delete that real quick. You have 15 minutes to edit or delete these, by the way. So if I just hit undo send, it goes right away. Boom, just like that. And you guys can read the little disclaimer there. You unsent a message. Slim may still be able to see it on older versions of iOS. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and like I said, it only works for 15 minutes. If you send it and you wait 16 minutes, you can't undo it. You can't edit it. You can't do anything like that. Be very careful with this, guys. But anyways, that is probably one of my favorite features. The next thing I want to show you guys are the notification center. As you guys can see, it's at the bottom. I'm going to slowly open this up. It's just Gun Maniac from the Discord server. But uh, anyways, they are down here now, which does take some getting used to. Weird to you know, unlock your phone and just have to swipe like this and then they're way down here. It does make it easier to click on, I think, um, but it's just different. So you're gonna have to get used to that. Um, when you try it out, you'll see what I mean. But wow, doesn't this lock screen just look so good? Like with the overlapping features and everything, hmm, it's just nice. Now, real quick, let's hop back into iMessage. One thing I didn't mention, uh, you can now do voice recordings right from here. They kind of moved it. Uh, you tap there to hold and record. Now, Apple has also changed voice dictation. So if I click on it, See that little icon? I can click on that to end it. Uh, you also get the full keyboard while you're dictating. So you can go in and change stuff on the fly, which is super nice. All right, next up is mail. And this is huge. Uh, you can now actually undo sending in the mail app. You can also schedule messages. So let's just say I wanted to schedule this. I could just hold down on this button right here, send now, send at 9 p.m., send later than that. I can you know, choose my own time. This is super powerful. I've been wanting this. This is one feature from Gmail that I really liked. Uh, and I'm glad that you can do this now straight from the Apple mail app. So the other feature, like I said, is to undo send. So let's go ahead and send this email. And let's say I wanted to undo it real quick. You guys can see down here at the bottom, I can quickly press undo send and it will undo that send. And I can make the edits that, you know, I wanted to say hi YouTube with an exclamation point, and then I will send it. And there we go. So let's see how long it stays. I think it's five or 10 seconds, but let's just see because this is a new beta for both you and I. There we go. So it's sent, can't undo it anymore. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and pull down. 
So I think this might be the other one that I sent. Uh, regardless, it doesn't matter. Something new that I wanted to show you guys is you can now swipe to the left and hit snooze. So this can remind me in one hour, it'll go away out of my inbox so I don't have to think about it and it will remind me in an hour. That is so powerful. Apple is bringing so many features from those other third-party apps into one so you don't have to rely on them. I love it. So I have to show you guys this one. If you go into sound and haptics and scroll down to keyboard feedback right here, you can turn on haptic feedback for when you type. So if you are, let's just say in a message and you're typing to someone, the keyboard will actually have a haptic feeling under it. And I can't obviously show you guys this on through a camera, but you get just get a little bit of a tap letting you know that you click the key. It's just a different experience while texting. Uh, I do like it. I'll probably keep it off for battery reasons, but uh, I don't know, who knows? I might turn it back on. Now, the next change is actually the first thing I noticed as soon as I got iOS 16 on this phone, and that is the search button right here at the bottom. This is now your spotlight search. Of course, you can still pull down just like you used to, but you can now just click right here and pull up the search. It's a little bit easier. You don't have to reach, just click, and there you go. So that is something that is new and it is a nice change for sure. So yeah, those are a few really quick features I wanted to show you guys today. I'll have more coming throughout the week, so definitely stay subscribed. Hit that little bell for notifications, and if you like the video, of course, hit it with a thumbs up. That's all I got for this one. See you guys in the next one. Peace.